Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. Today we are at Valley Village yet again, and we are going to be thrifting for my Pinterest. I go on Pinterest a lot. It's kind of where I get a lot of like my inspiration from and where I get like ideas for like the different kinds of clothing that I want to thrift. So I have a little list here. I want to find unique necklines, spaghetti straps, lace, more things with color because I'm realizing I have a lot of neutral tops. Things with pretty wide sleeves. Some are scarves, like thin ones that you can like wear around your neck or like ones around your head or ones around like your top. I also have a few pictures of like Western chic that I think are kind of cute. I want to find wide belts and some kind of like corset that goes around your waist for layering. Um, I've been seeing that a lot and I actually really like the look. And then I also want to find things with bows and ruffles. Basically, I don't want to find anything that's like too basic. I want to find things that have like elevated details to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go inside and see what we can find. We are starting off in the long sleeve blouses and we're looking for ruffles and things with bows and things that are really unique. Okay, I kind of like this. I like that it's silver and I think it would look good with low-rise jeans. Okay, this one is definitely interesting. It has the lace and it's like this weird satiny accordion fabric. I just don't know whether to get it. Actually, it's a no. We have both the pants and the skirts in this section, so we're going to check those out. These pants are still here from last time I was here and I kind of want to get them. I regret not getting them the first time. So I pulled out these three skirts. I actually recently got a plaid skirt, so I don't need this one. Um, this one seems kind of cheap and this one I think might be a little bit big for me. These are actually a pair of shorts, and I would love something like this with like the big belt, but I really hate the paper bag waist. This skirt from Suzy Shear is kind of cute with like this little thing in the front. And I wish this fit me because I love the pattern. It's like a little wrap skirt. Again, I don't really feel like going to the blazers. I just don't think I like to wear blazers that much. I'm gonna check out the jeans quickly. These are new with tags, Banana Republic jeans. They are kind of expensive though, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them. There's a part of me that wants to cut these into shorts. Okay, I found these Ralph Lauren jeans that look like they were made for me. They are so cute. The only thing is, someone has cut off the seam. I'm still gonna think about them. We found another pair of jeans. They're kind of like a mid-rise and they're super wide at the bottom. Like, very wide. I just found way too many jeans. I can't get them all. Let's go back to the pops. This is severely broken or else I would get it because it has like the spaghetti straps and it's pretty unique. This top is kind of interesting with all this lace down the front. But it looks like it's being held together by a clothespin. I still don't know what the purpose of the pin was, but it was made in the US. This top caught my eye in the mediums. I kind of like the pattern, um, and it was made in the US. Call me crazy, but there is something about this. It is like a cardigan with a built-in shirt. It's missing the buttons, and I think someone handmade it. I'm not gonna get it, but I think it's so funny. We still have so many more long knits to go through. Oh my goodness, at first I thought this was nothing, but then when you see it actually by itself, it's got these cute little ruffle sleeves, and then at the bottom, and it's see-through, and it's vintage. 
So I know this looks like kind of nothing, but it is Stanfields, which I know is like a good kind of like outdoor brand and it was made in Canada, maybe, I don't know. Okay, speaking of outerwear, I also found a long sleeve merino shirt. This knit is so cute. It's also like the perfect summer knit, like summer spring knit, because it's so open. I do wish it was 100% cotton though. I was just looking at the jewelry and I found this dress. I don't know, it's a short sleeve knit, but it looks like a dress and it feels really nice. This is the tag. I think it's vintage. One second. There's a union tag on it. Okay, there's no composition tag on it, but it is seriously gorgeous. This with a wide belt. We are in the short sleeve tops now. Should I just go completely out of my comfort zone with this top? There actually might be just too much going on. I would just like to say it is taking everything in me right now not to get this guest shirt. <clears throat> I am in the sleepwear, maybe we'll find something lazy. Why do I slightly love this quilted tote bag? It's also vintage. Look how cute this purse is. I think the pink is really cute. It is genuine leather and um, made in Italy, but there's just kind of too many stains on it. I really like this little bag. It's not real leather though, so I'm not gonna get it. We have another interesting orange purse. Okay, we are going through the scarves now. It's kind of cute. It's wool and it has little pom poms at the bottom. Okay, this scarf is nice. We are gonna check out the belts now. I would love to find like a wide neutral belt. It's a bit too long, but I love the buckle. The final section we're going to go through is the dresses. This is adorable. It's like a dress with an attached jacket. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I think it's really cool. This is a cute dress. It's black linen and it was made in Italy. I might get it. Time to make decisions. Okay, so we are back. Let's get into the haul. First off, I got these purple trousers. Now, these were at the thrift store the week before, and I didn't get them because I thought they would be way too high rise. And honestly, they are so cute. The fit is so good. I love how they fit me around the waist and around the leg. I also love how wide this belt is, and I will definitely be taking this wide belt off of these pants and using it by itself because I was looking for a wide belt for a really long time. I think the purple is fun. I did want to find more colors in this haul because I find that I wear just like a lot of like black and cream and white. White. On Pinterest, I do kind of like the look of that like open shirt collar with trousers and a big belt. I think that's really cute. 
Moving on to possibly my favorite find of the entire haul is this white dress. It is vintage, the brand is Algo, and it actually has a union tag on it. This was kind of everything that we were looking for. It has like the pretty feminine lace detail that I really wanted to find. I think it is so stinking cute. It feels really, really good quality. I'm not sure what it's made of, but I really like the feel of the fabric. The fit is a little small, which I didn't anticipate. I was originally wanting to wear a belt with it, but I think the belt might break it up in a funny way. What I really want to wear with this is some tall boots. I think that would be really cute. It was placed in such a random section too, which is a good reminder for me to go to all the sections to make sure I'm not missing out on something. So cute. I'm so happy we found it. And I really think a lot of the details on it really elevate this piece. Moving on to something that is less exciting. I got this gray waffle knit long sleeve. The reason I got it is because number one, Waffle nets are very, very cute. But number two, it's the brand Stanfields and it was made in Canada. Stanfields is a nice brand. And so I know it's not nice and unique, but I tried to style it in a unique way. And the best that I did is put a belt around it and wore it with like a short skirt and high boots. I feel like that elevates it a little bit more from just like a regular waffle knit. I'm wearing it with just like jeans. Honestly, just happy I got it because it is really good quality. And I do look for those pieces, even if it doesn't always fit the theme. Moving on to another one of my favorite finds. I got this black dress. It is 100% linen and it was made in Italy, which you guys know I love. I feel like I'm always getting linen pieces. The brand is Allegra Massetti, but it did remind me of a couple of like the Western chic pictures that I put up. It isn't long like those dresses, but it has the same vibe. I also love the ruffled hem at the bottom and I love that it has buttons all the way down and that it has this like elastic waist on the side. And I think it'll be perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer. I think it will also be a really interesting layering piece. What I wish I found was like a waist corset because I feel like a waist corset would look really cool with this. Moving on to another very cool, unique find. I found this quilted bag. It is so cool. At first I thought it was maybe handmade, but you go inside and there's actually this vintage tag. The brand is Tote Folks and it was made in the USA. I just think it's adorable. It's blue, it's got flowers all over it. It's got this cute little ruffled hem on the top. It wasn't necessarily on my Pinterest, but I do have a lot of quilted coats on my Pinterest. And I feel like you see this kind of thing a lot in like coat Copenhagen Fashion Week type pins. It's also reinforced with metal along the very top to like add some shape. Anyways, I think it's so cute. I might use it as my thrifting bag or something else. Either way, I really, really love it. And this is the final piece. I got this merino wool shirt. I have actually been looking for a merino wool long sleeve for like hiking and layering. There was a purple one and there was a blue one and I felt like I only really needed one and I felt like the blue kind of washed me out so I went with the purple, which is again, another color. We were looking for color. This is not necessarily like a fashion item, but it is kind of an essential. Merino wool is a lot softer than regular wool, like I said, and it keeps you really, really warm. It was made in Canada, which is also cool. And I think I did my best with styling, but anyways, I'm I'm still happy I got it because it's such a good quality item. So that was everything I got. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to pick, it would be between one of the two dresses. They are so stinking cute. And if you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.